Puh. Hello, welcome to a new episode of Henry's Traditional Archery. Today I want to talk to you about the Shrubos. But at first I have to say I'm pretty proud to be the producer behind the Shrubos and Ron Laclaire. So one of his requirements and he was really picky about this was of course to hit his special design of the handle of the grip but also the very strong reflex in the limbs because the, the strong reflex in the limbs is a guarantee to have a bow pretty comfortable smooth and powerful it was a hell of a work to develop this super shoe especially the 60 inch bow length was a, a really big advantage for us and for my boyers at botanic bows the old super shrew had only a small reflex inside of the limbs but ron really advised us to adapt or to convert or let's say to transfer the powerful and smooth limb shape from the classic 102 to the super shrew that's the original super shrew and that's the improved Super Shrew 2 with a strong deflex inside of the limbs. So I think it's pretty clear to see the difference. And now let's go to shoot the new um, Super Shrew 2. By the way, today is the 26th of February. The weather is pretty nice. It seems to me the spring is coming. Today we put the Bear Pokil Tournament Germany online. Maybe you like to register. That's my son. I bought him a new motorbike, 125 cubic, uh, cubic centimeters, and you see the tracks? That's my son. <laughs> I have to talk to him about this. <laughs> so, Pendulum Hunter Extreme Spine 700, they will not pick fit perfectly for the super shoe 30 pounds but they will do their job and by the way I forgot to take the string with me I will go up and take the string with me and strung the bow see you soon so I already strung the bow let's go to shoot the super shoe so we are on the way to my personal uh, archery area there a few 3d animals and a nice target so we can see let's say up to 40 50 yards how the arrows will fly but i think the most important thing is the process how the limbs are bending how smooth they are Welcome at Henry's private archery area. So Tom, just try to catch the bending of the limbs during the first shots. I think this is pretty uh, interesting for the guys. So let's check the brace height. It's an important measurement for the bow. So we already set up that the brace height for the shrews around eight of course i have to go more into details with more testing but i'm pretty sure the brace height will be around eight to help the limb stable because that was the big advantage to get the limbs realized with a strong recurve to have them smooth and powerful and stable so first shots ah. That's the bloody arm guard. Done. Well, let's see. Okay, up to 90 degrees. So approximately, I think, 
So we are we are a little bit uh, uh, below the 90 degree angle. This means we are inside the comfort area of the bow. So in my opinion, the 60 inch bow will be pretty smooth and comfortable up to 30 uh, to 33 inches. Finn, come here. Allez. For Finn, of course, I need German language. Nice, nice. So absolutely smooth. Again, let's catch the bending of the limbs. And the last one. Nice. So let's go and shot uh, a little bit more distance. So that's now a distance around, let's say, I think, around 40, 45 yards. So let's see how the 30 pound Super Shoot 2 will perform at this distance. Wow, nicely. Trajectory is pretty, pretty flat. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with my boyas, what my boyas did. The bow is smooth, is powerful, and uh, also with this uh, low poundage of 30 pounds, I got a pretty flat trajectory up to 40, 45 yards. So the development of the Super Shrew with 60 and um, 55 inches is done, and uh, you will get soon more information about this Super Shrew. I will pass this information to Ron Laclaire and to Tim Cosgrove from customkingarchery.com. These bows are the points where you can buy our Shrew bows, and your comments are highly welcome below and thank you very much for watching Henry's traditional archery and see you again soon. Bye bye.